So we're here in New York to check out the Karma Rivero Aliso Edition. It's one of 15 in the world, has 981 foot-pounds of torque, and costs an eye-watering $145,000, which is great and all, but like, we're Linus Tech Tips. Why the heck are we here? Oh, there we go. So the back is filled with awesome prototype tech. So let's take a look at what all of this does, and a big thanks to DTS and Photo Nation for sponsoring this video. If you feel like you've seen this car before, well, you wouldn't be wrong. That's because both Karma and the Rivero are heirs to Fisker Automotive's Karma, a car about as troubled as the period it was born into. Major financial institutions have teetered on the edge of collapse, and some have failed. As a result, our entire economy is in danger. The company was plagued by several engineering and production challenges, legal battles, supply issues, reliability shortcomings, and became a political football for the guys in Washington. And the financial troubles that came as a result of all that forced Fisker to shut its doors in 2013. But for all the things it got wrong, Fisker did get some things right. The accelerated development process of the Fisker Karma generated quite a few technological breakthroughs, and the core design of the car remains a thing of beauty, even 11 years after its original unveiling. So it's with those considerations that automotive supplier Wan Xiang Group bought what remained of the original company in 2014, a mere year after having scooped up Fisker's then battery manufacturer, and then rebranded it Karma. So while the Rivero may look much the same as its predecessor, it's a completely different car under the surface. Everything from the wiring harness to the solar panel roof down to the powertrain is different, with some less obvious stuff, starting with the FM radio. Okay, no, wait, hold on. Okay, so this came about as part of Karma's collaboration with DTS, and it's actually cooler than it sounds. So the prototype radio in here has album artwork and a like button. Well, okay, but Spotify already has that. At which point we realized, well, why don't we expect this from radio? The radio experience is basically decades behind with programmable stations still being a feature. And the thing is, some 80% of drivers apparently still rely on it for entertainment in their car. So with DTS connected radio, your car is able to use an IP connection to download metadata for digital and analog radio stations. So you can get album artwork, song titles and artists, the ability to like and share songs, and of course, my personal favorite, the ability to see exactly what's playing on all the stations at once. But maybe the station you landed on is playing some really soft, soothing music. You're driving down the highway, it's late at night. Maybe you're coming home from the airport and the incredibly comfortable seats of the Rivero ease you into a slumber. Your eyes close. This is the situation where you want the PhotoNation DMS or driver monitoring system. It'll step in and make some loud noises to wake you up. So under the steering wheel, we've got an IR camera that can tell the car if your eyes are open, where they're looking, and even take a guess at what your mood is. Now, currently, this just makes the car get mad when you look away from the road and plays a cheerful song if you look sad. Though in fairness, they only started integrating this about four months ago. But in the future, this data is gonna be crucial for self-driving vehicles. So the DMS will give the car information during autonomous operation. So if you fall asleep, it can park on the side of the road, or if it needs to hand over control to the driver from autonomous mode, it can make sure the driver is actually looking at the road and isn't terrified before giving them control. And the eye tracking and head position monitoring has another benefit that is implemented today, a changeable FOV backup camera. So this allows for the rear view camera to naturally update where it's pointing based on where your head is in the car. This would actually be beneficial in most cars. I mean, you really can see a lot using the system, but in the Rivero, it really shines since the swoopy rear of this vehicle was clearly designed with looking cool in mind, not rear visibility. Maybe the most impressive part of all of these demos is that they've been implemented in just four weeks on completely automotive grade hardware. Like if we saw this demo running on a tablet, that would be pretty interesting, but these are all real things 
that have been implemented that you can expect to start showing up in cars that you might be able to actually afford in 2020. So in the trunk, first we've got power for everything, 12 volt and five volt to run the electronics and the amp. This black box here provides the connected radio and the processing is done by these SOCs from Texas Instruments. And all of this can be pretty easily condensed down to a single chip. Like not a single board, a single chip on that board, giving automakers easy options for smarter cars in the future. So thanks to DTS and PhotoNation for bringing our team out to this demo day. You don't get many opportunities to drive around a luxury vehicle like this when, well, when you dress like us. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Also in the description is our merch store, so you too can look like us, and our community forum, which you should totally join.